Good morning. Um, I I just got these LED lights. I got a whole bunch of them. They're 24 volts. And let's see if I can get a close up. Very tiny LEDs. And they're 24 volts. But they're very bright. I'm gonna hook them up to my 24 volt system with alligator clips. So you get an idea of the brightness of them. Okay, that's my negative end of the 24 volt. Let me untangle this. And here is on the breaker is the positive side, so. I can get a good contact. Give me a second, let me see. Okay, here we go. You see they're very bright, very intense, and they're uh, cool white, uh, I'm sorry, warm white, versus these that are cool, uh, cool white. So I'm thinking of replacing these two this one here and that one there with uh, two of these and um, the problem is if I want to run 24 volts I have to rewire everything and start from scratch because what I'm doing now for the lighting system of the house, I'm using that step-down converter that takes the voltage of the 24 volts and converts it to 12 volts. But basically it's about 13.6, 13.7. You see that's the input voltage, 27.2. and converts it to 13.6 this is a box that supplies power to the lighting and the 12 volt equipment that I have in the house through a fuse box uh, in the attic okay but what I came across is these step up converters that are very efficient I used one of these right here that is connected to this light and also I have my voltmeter connected to the output and I use the same connectors to connect the light LED lights got 16 LEDs on it but I'm gonna run it through my capacitor 12 volts and this will step it up to 24 volts and you can adjust the voltage through that pot I have adjusted it to 24 volts so here we go The 24.2 volts, and here it is. The amp draw of these lights is 0.3 amps. Let me set the okay. The amp draw 
that I have here is about half an amp, 12 volts, that goes to the step up inverter or converter, whichever you may call it, and then goes to that light strip. The draw on the light strip is point to about two and a half amps. The maximum amperage draw of course it varies with the adjustment is on this setup is one amp so I have plenty of amps left to run two of these off of one board but I'm not gonna risk it because this Mosfet PT doesn't have a heatsink on it so I'm gonna use two of these To replace these two lights and uh, see how it works so I will have 20, uh, 12 volts going to these lights and I put the converter up there to, that will activate the 24 volt LEDs through the same wiring so after I'm done I will uh, continue the video so we'll see how it works so please uh, stand by okay here we go I took the other light out the 12 volt cold light and installed the new LED light there I don't know if you can see I tucked the voltage converter behind it and also I use the spacer between the LED strip and wood to give it some ventilation and also there is room for the, the converter and I still have the other one I left it there purposely so we can compare the, the output the light and I'm gonna turn it on There we go. That's the new light, the warm white LED, and that's the cool white. And let's see if we can see the difference. It's it's still it's at it's noon, so don't know if you can see the difference. I may uh, make a video of it at night and see what difference it makes. But so far it makes a big difference. Look at my arm. The color of my arm under the warm white. And I'm gonna move under the cool white. See how bluish it is. And you can see this one is kind of natural. So they're very bright. I left the wiring alone still. I have to uh, secure them. I will do that one and then secure the wire so they won't be exposed I was uh, checking the voltage make sure I'm getting the correct voltage there and uh, there you go thanks for watching guys